G'day viewers and welcome to Wanga Fat Wednesday where I tell you who or what am I not giving a fuck about today. And honestly, today I am not giving a fuck about our politicians and the election campaign we're undergoing right now. For anyone who doesn't know, there's a federal election underway in Australia. And this weekend, the leaders were scheduled to have their likely only face-to-face -face debate on TV of the campaign. It's not as big a thing here as it is in the US presidential elections. And you know what? The rest of the country is apparently with me. Because on Sunday night, when the debate was scheduled to be held, is the finale of a very popular reality TV show, MasterChef. And it's in the slot where the debate would normally go on. And they just looked at it and went, hmm, MasterChef, most popular show on TV at the moment, federal politicians. What are people going to watch? In the first stroke of honesty I feel like I've seen from either of these people, they've acknowledged they're not as popular as MasterChef. That if the great Australian public is given the choice between looking at a cooking show or political talking heads, they're going with the cooking show. Now, to an extent, I think you can criticise the public for choosing to focus on triviality rather than the two people who are, are one of whom is going to be leading the country after the election. But quite frankly, I think the politicians need to take a good fucking hard look at themselves and find out why people give less of a fuck about them than they do about a cooking show. Namely, that these people have undermined, these people, these politicians, have undermined the faith of the Australian people so many times, they both just tell whatever lie they think will get them elected, whatever will get them power, and it's got the stage, no one gives a fuck about them. And I'll tell you what, I'll probably make one or two more comments as this campaign progresses, but the early mark for me is not so much the politicians as the fucking media in this country and their shit reporting. Seriously, when the election was announced on the weekend, uh, one of the headlines, or even the under the headline bit, in the Age newspaper, this is one of the intellectual newspapers, one of the highbrow upmarket newspapers, when the election was called, um, they declared that, well, this is the election that will either confirm Julia Gillard as Prime Minister or sweep her out of power. So their intellectual evaluation is, she'll either win or lose. You fucking geniuses. So yeah, politicians, get it together. Media, get it together. Because if you don't, neither I nor the rest of the country Give a fuck.